Morning, this is Brian. Today is Thursday, October 17th, 2019. I am between La Habra Heights and Roland Heights in southern Los Angeles County, just north of the Orange County, LA County borderline. And today, I got another spot laid on trees for you. This is a tree that has a very, very limited distribution here in Southern California, mostly along the coastal foothills, about Santa Barbara, maybe down towards San Diego. That's maybe a rough estimate. It's called the Southern California Walnut, or Southern California Black Walnut, Juglans Californica. It's this right here, a usually a large shrub to a small, sometimes medium-sized tree in more moist conditions. It's a winter deciduous tree, meaning it sheds its leaves in fall and it leaves out in spring, like a lot of broadleaf trees are. It's in the walnut family, the Juglandaceae, the same family as, well, the walnuts, the pecans, the uh, hickories, and like other species in that family, the leaves are pinnately compound. These leaves are sometimes they're quite small on smaller and more stunted specimens and then on specimens that are in moisture conditions, maybe a little bit moisture like this where there's not quite as much of a sun exposure, they can get quite long, they're over a foot long sometimes, but a lot of times they're much smaller. Like I said, they're pinnately compound, in other words, they have a central stalk, and then the leaflets radiate out from that stalk. And as the name suggests, it's a walnut. It gets walnuts. It has the big, hard shell, and there's a, a small, edible seed inside of it. I'm not seeing a lot of walnuts this year, but as I hike down, I will point out uh, where I see some husks and uh, the bark is kind of a light grayish played, uh, plated and furrowed when it gets older like that and in autumn the trees can sometimes turn a pretty decent shade of yellow I've seen it before in this canyon this is this place is called Powder Canyon that's the name of this uh, area this is Powder Canyon we're just south of Peter F. Gabarum Regional Park, a major recreation area here in southern LA County. And there's a big turf area where you know you got playgrounds and picnic benches and ornamental trees to shade the area. But in the hills around Skabarum Park, we have these beautiful walnuts. This one's a pretty pretty moderate size specimen here. There have been some there, ha there are a few quite large specimens that are even bigger than this. But this is actually a pretty pretty decent sized specimen. This one's probably maybe about 40, maybe about 40 feet tall. And, I mean, since fall comes a little bit later here in lowland Southern California, we're probably about an elevation of about, maybe about 700 feet above sea level. The trees will be shedding their leaves a little bit later as opposed to a lot of the places you see me filming up in the mountains where sometimes in mid-October some of the trees are already <laughs> past their peak and going leafless. But yeah, this is our Southern California Walnut. Quite a lovely tree. And here's a better, better view of the leaflets. This is a little more typically sized of a leaf. You see the leaf and then the leaflets radiate out. They're alternately arranged on the stem like I believe all fa all family members of the Juglandaceae, you can see they alternate on the stem. And I'm trying to see if I can find some seed, some old walnut husks on the ground. Here's a piece of one right here. So they're kind of round. You can see some of the old walnuts here. They have a small edible seed inside that really tough husk. It's supposed to be really hard to get them out. Never actually tried it. But they're very common in this area. 
and their common partners are we got toy on right here heteroma lazar butifolia then we got coast live oak quercus agrifolia variety agrifolia very common uh, mate and of course if you look in there western poison oak toxicodendron diversilobum very common and usually they're more of a coastal foothill slash canyon tree not super far inland but I have seen them in the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains which are still relatively coastal compared to a lot of other places but this is what uh, Powder Canyon looks like it's it's a nice little oasis in the middle of the suburban track and uh, sometimes you'll find uh, other plants mixed in with it like uh, we got right here Rus integrifolia, lemonade sumac, laurel sumac, melosma lorena, and holly leaf red berry. So, let's see if I can find another decent specimen. A lot of times they start out very shrubby. You'll see here, they'll start out a lot of times multi stemmed, sometimes uh, bushy, like these younger ones right here. Now, one thing to keep in mind that uh, our native walnuts do have a propensity to hybridize with the commercial walnuts like Juglans nigra and stuff like that. That is possible. Some of these specimens here with the largest leaves and the largest stature could potentially be hybrids. So keep that in mind. They'll usually have much larger leaves, maybe more rounded leaflets, as opposed to the little, little narrower, a bit of narrower. See, these, these leaflets are kind of narrow and kind of jagged along the edge. So, just keep that in mind. There is the potential and likely, pretty good likelihood of hybridization, because people have fruit orchards out here, and I've seen a. Uh, English walnuts uh, in the wild before, like once or twice. Like in Upper Trabuco Canyon before the Holy Fire burnt, there was <laughs> some something of that sort in the canyon. There was a Juglans nigra. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. They can hybridize. The ones with the smallest leaflets, you could pretty much, you could pretty much be safe in assuming they're Juglans californica. Now, some taxonomists they divide the walnut into two varieties. In fact, uh, there's a Juglans hinzi or Juglans hinzi from Northern California called the Northern California walnut, which is usually a more of a tree than a shrub. So, uh, sometimes uh, they lump them together under one species, two varieties. So this is maybe a little more typical, especially around here. Yeah, so these are a little shrubbier. So, when they do divide them into varieties, you have Juglans californica, variety californica, which would be this one, and Juglans californica, variety Heinze. But, not all taxonomists agree with that and a lot of them keep them split into separate species but probably November is when you're more likely to see some fall color I have seen them change color nicely here in the fall before so it does happen and you see these ones starting to change a little bit but like I said the seeds are edible but they're really supposed to be really hard to extract and very small it's a very endangered species, so just be careful. And I hope you're able to enjoy this spotlight on trees. I will see you on the next episode.
Hope you enjoyed it.